Welcome to our Monday night call, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Every single Monday, this is a final expense sales training call where we talk about final expense, how to become a top producer, how to go from a couple thousand a month in production to five, six, seven thousand a week in production. And it's not just a rah rah hype call, it is actual sales training from someone that's done it out in the field. And you get to learn that stuff and go over all these amazing things that's taken me personally eight years to accumulate. And I take questions from people that are out in the field that are running into situations every single day that are unique in and of themselves, right? That we obviously, we can't capture in just one training platform, but luckily, luckily we're able to take all of that great stuff and put it on a Monday night call and take the stuff that we learned from last week, put it in this week and just keep on growing, keep on learning. So that way we could all become high level producers. So with that said, let me go ahead and, and get that adjusted there. Let's go ahead and get into our topic over here. Okay. So one of the, the topics that we have and one of the, the questions I would ask a big, one of the biggest things for me, personally, was the amount of doors that I could hit in a day, right? That was what made me a, a different producer than a lot of other agents, right? I would go out in the field and the, the biggest differentiator for me and why I would be more su successful than most is strictly just because of numbers, that's really all that it is. It was it was literally just a numbers game and me getting in front of more people than the next person, working harder than the next person. Now, of course, you're going to need skills to close the deals, right? Skills close deals. So when you're when you're out there, you have to learn certain things, right? You can't just walk into a home with a client and that client has a two year waiting period policy. And you're like, oh, no, that looks like a good plan, right? She's on amlodipine. And that's the reason why I decided to go with XYZ insurance company. Or I just told her, hey, oh, you already have insurance? No problem, right? Instead of replacing both policies or one policy, and instead of having two, bundling it into one policy, you now capture all the premium instead of either not getting a sale or adding a smaller amount of coverage on top of it and making less money. So I, I personally found that to, to be one of the most important things for myself personally. Uh, so doors in the day. So let's say, for example, if you're running 25 leads per week, okay? So every single week, 25 times four, that's 100 leads in a month, okay? So if you just do the math and you just say 100 leads in a month, you're going to have quite the pipeline because most agents on 25 leads, if they have a 25% or 20% closing ratio, let's say on 25 leads, that's five applications. There's 20 other people that have not been sold. Okay. So 20 times four is 80 people that have not been sold. So one of the biggest things for me that I would say is probably one of the most important things for me was making sure that I had these people organized. I had them mapped out so that way I could hit them in the most efficient men. Efficient. I wanted to be the most efficient person possible, right? Efficiency is key. You got to be incredibly efficient with your business. So one thing that I found is a app that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this one on up real quick and I'm going to do a little screen share. So some of y'all might already know it. You might already use it, but maybe you don't use it the, the way that I do. And you know, that's a, that's a pretty cool thing. So let me go ahead and open it up. It's called road warrior. So I'm sure that some of y'all are already familiar with it, or maybe use a technology like it. I know some people they use, they just use Google like maps and they just plug the stuff on in there. And that's, it's crazy, right? That's, that's all that they're doing is just using Google Maps or um, MapQuest, right? I don't even know if that still exists, app, actually. It very well might still exist. But MapQuest or you know Google Maps, and you're just plugging it in 
but you don't have the ability to disposition things. You don't have the ability to, to change your, your route or adjust the route that you have and the people that you have in it. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me pull this on up. Let me close this on out. And I want to show you guys some Road Warrior stuff. Um, okay, pick default location. Here we go. Let me type in my city. The cool thing about using a different software, I mean, there's you know a ton of different software that exists for, for all different businesses just in general. But one of the, the best softwares that you can use, and this is this isn't necessarily a CRM, right? But it's very similar to using a, a CRM. So that's one thing that I found to be pretty cool is that you you have the ability to change the color of these pins in here. And that is a pretty dang awesome thing. So you can just go ahead and add some routes. So let me go ahead and let me go into Road Warrior. Let me share screen with y'all so you guys could see what enabled me to move really, really fast. And what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and share screen one over here. So this is Road Warrior itself. This is just a, a, a blank screen over here that I have. And what I would do is you could go ahead and you can create different routes. You can literally just... I don't even know if I have any in here anymore. No, I don't for some reason. Okay, that's fine. So let me go ahead and, and create a new route. So what I would do is I would go in here. I would edit the route. You can put different names and stuff like that. You could save that and whatnot. Um, let me go ahead and click it. And the cool thing is you can optimize for the fastest tri trip based on your location as well. So that I found to be pretty dang cool. So you would click that. It would optimize the route from my house. Or let's say, for example, I'm all the way in South Dallas, okay, and I have an appointment at 3 p.m. in South Dallas, but I want to start making my way home because I live north of Dallas, right? So I'm about 25, 30 miles north of Dallas. So let's say, for example, I wanted to start going from South Dallas and working my way on up towards where I live north. I can start optimizing my route for my three o'clock appointment instead of having like a little guessing game on kind of what I need to do in order to get there. So uh, let's go ahead and let me go ahead here. We're going to do driving. Okay, save. Let me see if I can um, figure this out real quick. Actions, edit route, assign to oh, open and planner. There we go. Cool. All right. So what I would do here is I have this little search button. So I could go ahead and I can hit search in here. And then the cool thing is, is I literally, all that I do is I simply just go into the lead center and I just I just copy the the leads in there and I take them and I put them right on in. So let's do a uh, a route from this one that I have. I'll pull up an existing territory over in North Carolina. And what I will do is, uh, let's see. Okay, that's the county. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the, the way that I would do it. So you gotta click it as soon as it comes in and then you have to add the stop. So every single time that you're going through it, you just have to go ahead, it pops up right here, click that, and the bottom left, you're gonna hit add stop. So what I'll do, for example, just for you guys, is I'm gonna put in about, let, let's go through like 10 different ones. So just 10 different locations in here, 10 different clients that I would go ahead and I'd go put this in. And, I, and the thing is that's important for you guys to understand is that you're going to have a ton of different leads that build up over time, okay? So it's very important for y'all to have this technology pulled on up. That way, as you're building up this inventory that you have, what I would call a pipeline, right? Of people that you have not sat down with because it's literally impossible to sit down with every single lead in one week, right? You might be able to sit down with all of them, but that you know that's obviously a, a, the objective is to sit down with all of them. So one thing that that's really important for you guys is to make sure that you can organize this stuff. The more organized you are, the more efficient you are, the more successful you're going to be. It's literally that simple, right? It's not complex at all on how to be efficient with getting from one person to the next. But if you're not using certain technology, which is pretty dang simple, you're not going to be able to be as efficient as your competitor. Remember, you're out there competing, right? There's other people competing against you. So if someone's moving faster than you are, if someone's seeing more people than you are, they have a competitive advantage on you. So you need to do whatever it takes to make sure that you can beat your competition, right? You ever go into a house and they had an existing life insurance policy? You wonder why? Because someone came by and sold it to them, right? And maybe, maybe, because this happens all the time, 
this client sends in five leads that week because they really need insurance. Okay. That's what they do. They really need insurance. So they know the last time they sent a card in, someone came on by. Okay. So it's not about, you know, the, the person that gets the lead first. It's about the person that moves the fastest to see the client. There's been many, many times when an agent has been there a day before me. And what has happened is I've got the sale, right? I got the sale from the client because me personally, right? When I got the sale from my client, what it enabled me to do was go out there and sit down with them either first or second. If I sat down with them second, the best thing that I would find is if I sat down with a client second and someone sat down with them first from Lincoln Heritage, right? I was like, that is absolutely easy, right? That is not difficult to sell someone. They gave them like an anchor price, okay? What do I mean by like an anchor price? So let's say, for example, if someone from Lincoln Heritage comes out to them and sits down with them and talks to them and says, hey, for $80 a month, it's 10,000, right? And they look at it, they're like, yeah, I don't really know if that's great, right? But then the next day I come in and I say for $80 a month, right? You're gonna get 15,000. Don't you think that they gave them this bottom lower price, right? Like an anchor, an anchor sinks, right? And I come in and I, I'm able to show them something that someone just showed them last week and they didn't buy because they didn't see as much value in it, right? So for me as an agent, moving fast, getting to the client, getting from one house to the next is the most important thing. All right, so here is Road Warrior. So this is really simple. It gives you, as soon as I optimized it, y'all saw I just clicked this order button over here. I clicked optimize and then it put the route in order, okay? So I actually put in 20, all right? So what you can do over here is you could start on the you know outer, outer, outer city here or outer house, right? That's awesome. And then you can move your way along the route. So that's where it's saying, and you would put wherever your house is or hotel is if you're on a blitz, right? And you would go ahead and just move here, boom, 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 boom. And then the cool thing is now you're getting a little bit more densely populated. You go up this route over here, and then it's a lot more densely populated in this area, okay? So we always want to hit the outskirts. We don't want to just leave people hanging. And just because they're all the way out here, we don't want to hit them. So sometimes what I found is, you know, I, I might want to go all the way to the bottom of the map that day and then work my way on up top, right? Or sometimes, depending on where my next appointment is, if my first appointment's all the way at the bottom, I'm not starting to door knock here, right? I'm starting to door knock down here and vice versa, right? If my first appointment is at the top, yeah, I'm staying all the way at the top and I'm working my way into the territory. I'm working my way into the territory. So let's say, for example, I go through this and I have this, this uh, lead right over here. If I click this lead, I can go ahead. I right clicked it on here. You can also download the app to do this and you can just hit edit stop. When you hit edit stop, you can go ahead and change the name to whatever the client's name is, right? You could put their phone number in over here. You can enter this information. You can then put their email if they have one, a note. Let's say, for example, the note on this client is going to be, you know, door knocked 3.30 p.m. 9-18-2022, uh, no answer, right? And then what I want to do is since I already knocked that door, I want to change the display color, right? I want to change that to, to yellow. That's someone I'm going to go back to, okay? And then I get to number four right here and I hit edit stop, right? And this one is, is Mary Jones, okay? And then I got her number, 704-724-3648. I put a note in on over here, right? So I hit that one at 3.30. This one I hit at 3.40 p.m. Spoke with granddaughter. She works till 4 p.m. Circle back. And then I would just kind of write the date, 9.18. Um, you know, yesterday, we'll say, for example. And that is going to be a different color. So you would choose whatever color, right, is going to be your circle back color to go see that person today, right? Like I got to get back there. So maybe you can make that as purple, right? And then you can go ahead and you hit this door. So you go in here and you hit edit stop. The cool thing is like, let, let's say, for example, that this is um, Mary Jones's Jonesington or something like that, whatever. So let's say, for example, you put this in over here, you start inputting the information. And this person was just rude, 
right? They were just rude. So what I would do is I just write in here waste of time or what I always write in short is WOT, waste of time. And then maybe I'll leave that red or I'll change it to a gray or something like that, right? So there we go. So now the colors change and that looks more like a dead lead to me, all right? So what I wanna do is I obviously, I wanna know that that's a person that I hit. And then I wanna go into my CRM, right? And when I go into my CRM, let's say you can even do something as simple as going the lead center here and editing it, okay? You could just put a note in there and save it, right? And then you can go into your CRM, make sure you got a note of that. But because of a sense of urgency and you're moving fast during the day, I don't want you to stop, put the note in here, put the note in the lead center, put the note in your CRM, do this, and take five, 10 minutes in between each house, right? So you're going to, at some point in the day, you're going to have a break, right? Whether you eat something, you know, you're stopping for just a moment or your next appointment's at four o'clock and it's, you know, 3.30 and you're kind of in that awkward time where, you know, it's like, do I hit a door? What do I do? You know, something like that. So that is important as well to note that, hey, you're going to have time to, to organize this stuff after the fact, right? So now when, when this is a dead lead over here and I've now updated in the lead center, I updated in my CRM, right? Now I go back to it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight up just delete that stop, right? Done, okay? That's it. That, that lead is now done for me. But I need to make sure that I have it in multiple places so that way I'm not going back to the house because I've done it before, right? And that's part of being inefficient is not doing that you know, not being smart with your time and not being smart with your leads, right? So this one is going to be labeled lay down because that's what it was. I wrote that app. I walked on in. The person had their account routing number out. They knew it was about insurance. That is money. So it's green. Okay. So I'm going to write that in there. And then maybe what you do, okay, maybe what you do is you create another route because you can have multiple routes, right? You can have a ton of different routes. And you put your green pins in that. So strictly green pins. So now what you're doing is you're creating a route for the future of every single person that you've sold. Every single person. All of these pins are going to be green. And you should have over time hundreds of green pins. And these are the people that make you smile, right? These are the people that you go back to, which is why it's so important to take good notes. So you take a good note on here, you write a note, right? Um, you know, this client, so let's say for example, it was RNA 95 per month, uh, third of the month, nine slash 2022 is, you know, the first draft date, let's say for example, or since we're in September, let's do 10 slash 2022, uh, sat down with her, her granddaughter, uh, what's her granddaughter's name? Elizabeth was there and going to college next year, right? She had a white Cadillac out front. Dog's name was Money. So as you could tell, my grammar's a little off there, but it's all right, guys. We're going to get through it. So, so you just take those notes, right? And, and you write stuff in there, whatever it is, creative. So that way, when you, when you talk to her, hey, the dog's name was money and, and all that stuff. Um, so that's important for us as, as agents to have this over here. And then you got this list, right? So now you got a list over here of, of a route. Let's say, for example, you're taking this and then you're creating a new route in here of just straight money, right? Just straight money that you're going to go back to, you're going to circle back to. And you can just pull this one on up and you can see the date that you went to, to go see it because you wrote a note in here, right? Third of the month, 10 slash 2022. And you wrote, you know, whatever the rest of the note was, sat down with her the, the day that I sat down with her. Okay. So one thing that helped me move with a very high sense of urgency is the fact that at home, right? I got a baby at home, got a wife at home, and I got to make a lot of money non-negotiable, right? I want to be the best producer. Right? I pay attention to the leaderboard because I want to be number one on the leaderboard. And in order for me to do that, I have to move very, very quickly. So I have all my leads organized, whatever my, my route is, I'm doing that the night before. My organization with my business is great. 
when it comes to leads. Some things I'm not that great at, right? Some stuff will sit on my desk for 30 days, right? Terrible with certain things, but I know my strengths, right? I know what my strengths are. Organizing my leads has always enabled me to make a substantial amount more of money and nonstop just producing. And when I get to a house, I'm knocking on that door, right? I knock on that door and then I'm waiting about 30, 60 seconds, right? 30 seconds, I'm knocking again, louder, louder that time. And what I always say is delivery for Miss Mary, right? Delivery, who doesn't like a delivery? You get an Amazon package, are you happy, right? You're thrilled, so that's really important. So for me, what I do, right? I get to that door, 30, 60 seconds, knock on it, boom. Then I'm going to the next one, right? I'm instantly, okay, got 60 seconds is done. I get, I understand some people, you know, they're 80 years old, might take them a little while to get to the door. I'm giving them about 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds max. And then I'm out, right? Delivery notice, leave it on the door, boom, move to the next one. Fast, very, very quickly. I get in my door, I already know where number seven is, right? I already got number seven right here, pulled on up, right? I already got it. I'm ready to roll. I'm done, going to the next one. My note, as I'm walking to the car, I'm typing my note, right? Boom, right in the note right here. Door knock, wasn't home going to the next one. Boom. Move. Get to this house. Knock on the door. Right? 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Knock again. Boom, boom, boom. Delivery for Miss Mary. No answer. All right. I'm going to wait a couple more. Boom. Next. I got number eight. It's pulled on up. I know exactly where the lead is. I have everything organized. My leads are in order. So all I got to do is take that lead, put it at the bottom. Now I got the next lead pulled on up. I'm in my car and I'm moving fast. And I move with a high level of sense of urgency. My sense of urgency is so incredibly quick. I need to get to the next door. I need to beat out my competition. You're competing against other people. I need to be the best. I want to write the most amount of business. I want to have the best quality of life, right? I want to be a top producer. I want to provide for my family. My family deserves more, deserves better. And the only way I'm going to do that is by moving quickly, getting to the next person very, very fast, right? I'll sit down with a client, I'll talk with a client. And if I realize that that client's just, you know, a time waster, right? I, I diagnose that in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, here's my business card, I'm out. Like I'm literally leaving that house quick. I don't care. You are not buying anything from me. Do you want, and like you get down to it at a certain point in time with the, with the client, and you're just direct like, hey, do you, do you need life insurance? No. Okay, great. I'm leaving, right? Do you have anything to protect your family? No. You have to get direct at certain points and move fast with your clients. So, Scott, you got a question? Go ahead, buddy. Oh, it's not a question since you were in this area about um, putting those notes. And when you have the app, if you have the ability, I don't know about Android, but on Apple, you have the ability to use the microphone and you can literally go to that area where you type in. If, you, if you're not a fast typer, you can literally speak it into and put your notes speaking. It's really, really fast. That's awesome. That's like, uh, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah. So there you go. So, so yeah, so Scott's right. So not only is this a, uh, just, you know, for the desktop computer, you know, as you guys saw, I use the desktop computer to make it a lot quicker for putting this stuff in, but I use the app on my phone, right? I have the app on my, my iPad. Okay. So that's important too. So making sure that you're using that stuff and that's a little hack there to make you move faster. Right. So now you just click the microphone, which I didn't even know you click the microphone, just like you're doing talk to text on anything else. Right. And you're just saying the notes. Now it's like, boom, now I can get in there. All I got to do is change the color and I'm moving to the next person. Right. Then I'm rolling fast. So how many doors should you be hitting in a day? Your objective should be to hit 25 doors. If you hit 25 doors every single day and you're starting at 9 a.m., I guarantee you, you will make five grand every single week. If you hit 25 doors every single day, there's no doubt. It's literally impossible not to make that amount of money, right? But what happens is people, they don't hit that. They don't hit the number. They don't hit the number. They get tired. They want to go home, right? They need an oil change. Something happens. Oh, maybe I should just go home at four o'clock, right? I wrote $3,000 in production. You should never go home early. I don't care. Charge back happen, right? Life happens. Things happen. Never stop. Life doesn't stop. You can get sick next week and now you're out for a week and you decided to take off at four o'clock. Not going to happen. Not going to fly. 
right? You have to keep moving. There is no end, my friend. So keep it rolling and keep moving quickly. Um, so that amount of doors. So let's say, for example, that that's your goal. That's your objective. 25 doors every single day. I understand sometimes, right? It's a little bit more country. You might all the way be out all the way over here at one, right? And then you got to get to two and that might take you 15 minutes to get there. Then it might take you 10 minutes to get here, five minutes, boom, 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 until you get to a more concentrated area, right? What's going to help you move faster and be more efficient today and set yourself up for more success tomorrow is by having this technology, having all of your leads in order, reordering this stuff, reordering it all the time, right? So I get home at the end of the day, it's like, boom, I got people to delete. And then on Friday, Saturday morning, right, I got people to add and I'm adding them into my route. No matter what, there's always going to be whatever this color is of ping, right? Uh, or yeah, I would call it a pin, right? Whatever color pin that is, there's always going to be this color red, red pin, right? That's always going to be in there because those are always people I've never even sat down with, right? I, I might change it to yellow if it's going to be someone and you guys, you know, order it whatever color you want to. But keep it consistent, right? Have, have like a little um, maybe Excel sheet or something like that, Google Sheets, where you put what your your colors in there mean. So purple means circle back, yellow means door knock, no answer, green means sold, gray means dead lead. Literally, they're dead or you present it to them and they're dead. Those are the, the only way you get a final disposition on leads is if someone is dead or you present it to them and they said no. Those are literally the only way you get a final disposition, right? If someone slams the door in your face, Give it to your friend that's that's in another town, right? Hey, buddy, you're in this area too. You take this lead. They might like you. Maybe they just had a bad day. Maybe it was just a bad day and you go back two months later and they don't even remember who you are. It's all right with me. I've done it plenty of times, right? How many times you ever gotten a lead from someone that sends in a lead a second time, a third time, and you go back and they don't even remember you. And it's three months, six months later. It happens all the time. Trust me, you're not that memorable, guys. I promise you, you're not that memorable. They don't remember you. Right. They got a lot of stuff going on. They saw you at the door for two seconds and they forget. All right. So that's uh, that's what I do with Road Warrior. And that's what helps me move incredibly fast. And before that, when I first started, uh, well, eight, eight years ago is, is way, way different. So back then, we literally just had um, I th it, it was just MapQuest. Like Google Maps wasn't even really big back then. It was literally MapQuest and you would put them in and it would kind of do this. But, you know you would you would stack them like this but you know if you had an appointment here and then your next appointment was here and you didn't really know the area you're kind of sol you're out of luck unfortunately so that that wasn't uh it's a little bit difficult so this technology's made it a lot easier and i know people that have been in the business for 20 years and they used to actually have to take out a map right an actual map put it on the hood of their car or their truck right and map out where the houses were Right, so y'all got it. I don't think agents understand how good and how easy they have it these days. Right, you have the best lead of a qualified candidate that took time to open up a lead envelope, read it, say, "Hey, this is something that's interesting to me." Right, their first name, their last name, their age, their spouse's first name, spouse's last name, spouse's age, their phone number, their address. Put it back in the envelope, walk it back down the mailbox, and send it back in. Then you get it. Then you have technology to plug it into, right? You have someone to set your appointments for you, right? You could go up and door knock them. You have it the easiest. You have it the easiest out of any point in the history of insurance. You don't have to cold prospect, right? You don't have to work the T. You can work the T if you want to, right? So the T is work the door in front of you, right? The door behind you, left and right. So you're going to work the T or the, just depend on where the house is, the T in front of you, the T behind you, work the T. You don't even, if you don't even know what that is, that means you don't even do it, right? So you basically what it was is back in the day, a lead just to get you in the right area of the seniors, right? That's all that it is. And then you got to go to the next house, the next house, the neighbor's house, the neighbor's house. Hey, who do you know, right? Y'all got it so easy in this business, a qualified lead, right? It's not hard. It's not hard. That's the easy part. What's difficult is being a, a, good business owner, a good entrepreneur. That's the hard part. And staying consistent. I've seen so many people come, write 30 grand, and then they're gone, right? Because they're not consistent. They don't manage their money well, right? That's a very, very important thing as well. 
is managing your money. All right, so uh, time in between appointments is what I was talking about before. It's just another note that I wrote down, which was very, very important. And that note for time in between appointments, what I mean by that, guys, is sometimes you're going to have, you know, if you got 40 minutes, go hit a door, right? Go hit two doors, three doors, right? You never know if it's going to be a lay down. First off, you never know when your next appointment is going to be there. Let's say your appointment's at one o'clock and it's 1220. You got 40 minutes. Go hit a door. These people, you got an hour window to get to the house between one and two, right? Unless you talk to them on the phone, they're like, hey, you got to be here at one o'clock. I got to go to work at two o'clock, right? But you got a window of time to be at that house. What is the direct TV guy, the AT&T guy, Spectrum guy, right? Depending on where you live in the country, right? What do they tell you when they're going to come and install your internet or your, your cable? What do they tell you? What hours are they going to be there? Between what? 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. All right. We respect our clients a little bit more. Okay. When does, I had this guy uh, come spray for bugs. He gave me a two hour window of when he was going to be here. Two hours. Okay. So you could give your clients an hour long window. So if it's 1220, you got an appointment at one o'clock. That means you're going to be there between one and two. Okay. So go hit that door. And move with a high sense of urgency. You got to move very, very fast. You got to move quick. So get from that one door to the next door very, very quickly, right? I'm literally, if this person's done, I'm running to my car because I need to make the money, right? We only have so much time on this earth, guys. Only have so much time on this earth. You got to be passionate about this business, right? You got to love it. So in between those appointments, you get there 12, 20, I'm hitting doors. That could be a hundred dollar app. That could be three grand. Right. I've walked into houses and made thirty five hundred dollars before. Right. Off of door knocks right before an appointment. I've done it, done it many, many times. And it's funny. Agents always say, hey, ding, last door. A thousand bucks. That's great. But you made that your last door and you went home. What if you went to one more door? I, I guarantee try this now instead of last door ding and then I'm home. Go you go hit three or four more doors after that. See if you get you another one. You do that every single time instead of dinging in the group chat, ding last door, ding last door. I'm going to go hit three more, right? I'm going to go hit three or four more doors. I think you're, you're going to write more business if you do that, right? So uh, we got some stuff in the, the um, group chat over here. Do you door knock the leads just once per day? Yeah, I, okay. So door knocking time. First time I start door knocking is at 9 a.m. Okay, I start door knocking at 9 a.m. That's when I want to be out there. So between nine and 10 is usually when I'm hitting my first door. Okay, so that's that's a good time. What happens, because people that, I want people to really, this is such an important thing. So I'm gonna take this off the screen over here. This is such an important thing. Okay, so important. Agents, people in life in general, they always think, what if this happens? I want you to change that thinking and say, what if it doesn't happen? Well, what if they get mad when they answer the door? What if it doesn't, right? Well, what if they like yell at me or they're mad at me? What if it doesn't, right? What if they're receptive to you, right? So get rid of that negative what ifs and put in the positive what ifs. So you get to the house at 9 a.m., start door knocking, right? That's what you want to do, 9 a.m., that's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, you're always calling first to set appointments. And then, uh, no, so uh, she asked another question. Do you door knock the lead once per day? No, I'm circling, 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 right? I'm going around, circling like a shark, right? Sharks are pretty smart for some reason, right? They circle around, so am I. Gonna go get the prey. So, so yeah, so I wanna circle. If I'm in a certain area and I got an appointment at one o'clock and then my next appointment's at four o'clock and it's in the same exact general vicinity and I got five other leads there, right? And by the time I hit those five leads, it might be an hour and a half, two hours, right? Boom. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to circle around five, seven leads. I'm going to hit those doors multiple times. You never know when someone's going to get home, right? It takes you two minutes to knock on a door and be in and out, right? If you move quick, it's going to take you two minutes to get in and out of that um, from where that door is. All right. So let's go ahead and let me uh, look at another one. Um, here's another really good note that I have for everyone too. 
do the presentation where the client feels comfortable. Okay. So what does that mean? If a client doesn't want to let you in their home, sometimes there's a reason. Okay. Sometimes we're like, Hey, you know, can we just do this out here? Right. After a while, you, you want to try and push again, you know, one or two more times, but then after a while, you might just want to be like, yeah, 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 that's fine. Let's just sit out here in the hundred degree heat in freaking Texas, but I'm getting this sale. And then after a while, once they get to know you, what happens is you kind of break down that little barrier where they may not trust you as much, right? You break it down. By building rapport, you break down that barrier. Step one is build rapport. And then they might trust you and let you on in, right? They're, they're getting heat. They're heating up to themselves, right? They might trust you to let you in that house after a little bit of time when you can then push again a second time. Hey, hey, can, you know, you know, you, know, you want to just go inside and just sit down and just talk about this stuff real quick? Or they might not want to let you in the house because the house stinks and there's cockroaches all over the floor and they got bed bugs, right? Maybe they don't want to let you in the house because they're embarrassed of their house. I've done plenty of sales on porches. I've done plenty of sales standing up when I literally couldn't do anything, but just hold my iPad and give them the Apple Pencil and have them sign on it right? Like that was it. I'm doing my presentation while holding everything in my hands. And that's all that I could do. I, I couldn't do anything else. So I don't have a table to put stuff down, but I'm taking out one thing at a time. So don't be too pushy at certain times because they, that, that might turn them off from doing something at all with you. And then they're just going to be like, no, just go away then. Like, no, if you don't want to do it out here, then, then no. So don't be afraid to do a presentation outside of the house after you push a couple times to get in there um steve messaged me and said you know when let's see uh when do you suggest to make appointments uh, uh calls dials in, in the evening between uh like 7 30 is usually when i cut off probably around this time is usually when i would cut off as soon as it starts to get dark out um so yeah scott is right actually um me and scott we were in amarillo texas pretty sure it was Amarillo, which is about five, five hours west of me. It's actually closer to New Mexico. It's all the way out there in West Texas. Awesome place. It's a great, great place to be. And the, the lady literally, you know, she ended up telling us that she had like a heart attack, like a month before something like that. And we knocked on the door and I was just trying to get in the house. She's like, no, it's my daughter's house. You know, let's just stand out the door. And I tried to push in to get in. I was like, all right, fine. And it was a hot day. You know, it's Amarillo, Texas. It's hot. It's hot out there too. It's country out there. It's rural. I love it. Great area. And she literally fainted in front of Scott and I, and he was doing a ride along with me. And I'm like, yeah, this doesn't happen all the time, right? Don't, you know, don't take this. And, you know, we helped her up, got her in the house and stuff. Her daughter came out and was talking with us and uh, it was an interesting day. So yeah, sometimes if someone looks like they're going to faint, just <laughs> definitely uh, try and get in the house a little bit, a little bit harder for sure. So there's a, that's a good point. So Rob put in the, the group chat real quick. He said, some of my biggest sales were from off the beaten path, far away from my other leads. Many other agents may have been too lazy to go that far, right? So if we go back to this screen share here, where would you rather be, right? Would you rather be like all the other agents here or would you rather hit this person, right? That's sent in three leads, but no one's come to see them because they're an hour away out in the boonies. And the quickest way to get there is you got to go all the way down this, this road over here, then out to some country road right over here, right? Before you can even get to it, right? And then you got to go all the way down this back road. It's, it's probably, probably a dirt road out there. Who knows? I know some of these areas are real country out here. So, so yeah, so that's, you know, not the, the most densely populated area, right? So people don't want to go out there. So I love, I like, that's what, that's why I would, I'd want to start this at one. Right. And then at the end of the day, maybe, maybe the next day, this is one, right. That that'll be my starting point. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and then put this as 20. Right. So I flip it around and mix it up a bit. So I'm, this isn't going to be one every single day for me. Right. Why? Because I'm not hitting that same lead at 9. AM every single day. I got to start somewhere else. Right. I got to start at a different lead at 9. AM, 10. AM. I got to start at a different lead. If I start at a different lead every day, it gives me a different opportunity to get into someone that might be home at that time. Because if I hit this door at 9 a.m. three days in a row, 
Maybe this person was home at 9 a.m. Maybe this 10, maybe this person was home at 9 a.m. And I missed them because I never showed up at their house at 9 a.m. Right, so I'm always starting from a different point. So now when you go to order over here, I could go um, to, let's say I take 20 and I move 20 all the way up to the top. And now I make 20 the starting point. I'm gonna go ahead and hit optimize in here with 20 as my starting point, which it should do since I moved it up there. No, it didn't. Okay, well, you can reorganize. I think you can um, edit stop check in more actions. You can make it your mark first, there we go. So you can mark it as your first stop there. So then you would just go ahead uh, and optimize it. Order, optimize, that should be my first stop now. So yeah, guys, so that's uh, that's some of the, the, the key things. So there you go. So now I made that my first stop and now it's re-optimized, right? So now it's boom, this one's 19. Cause remember the other one, number five was over here before and it was a dead lead because that person told me to screw off. So I made that one my starting point and now it's re-optimized my route for the next day. This is my first one, right? It just depends on you know how, how you're feeling, who knows, right? Maybe, maybe you're feeling like, hey, you know what? I wanna start with seven today, all right? Start with seven, right? Then work your way on down, right? Start with seven and then work work your way on down the list. We'll see. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. That is a crazy, crazy story. So Wendy said, out in Morganton, North Carolina, a guy passed out on me. I helped him up, almost called 911, still sold him an app, right? Check that out. Killer. Still, still wrote him up. If you passing out is not a sign for you to get insurance, I don't know what is, all right? I don't know what is a better sign for you to get insurance than you than you passing out over there. So that's a, that's a great story. I actually remember that story. I do. I mean, I there's some crazy stuff that happens in this industry. Scott Bryan had a, had a gun pulled on him um, out in the country. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, he's still alive, as you can tell. He's on the call. Um, John Peterson, he, John Peterson's a big fan of bed bugs. He loves bed bugs. He's got a procedure now, got a whole procedure for the bed bugs. I, I think he's on this call. I don't know. Yeah, he is on this call. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot. Meg, Megan McGrath, I'm pretty sure she's on this call. She loves the creepy old guys. So big fan of the creepy old guys. Uh, some, just some weird freaking people in this world. And I, <laughs> I ran into, I've run into so many people that are highly intoxicated, just drunk, you know, these really abnormal people, but you can't let this small like subset of individuals, the rudes, the drunks, you know, impact your day, impact your mood, right? When let's say, for example, on this list, lucky number 13 is the most rude person to me. Let me go back to share screen, right? Let's just say number 13 is the most rude person. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a lot on number 13 over here. This is all that you see when number 13 is rude to you. That's all you see is you just see number 13. I need you to zoom out, right? Zoom out, have a bigger perspective. Hey, 13 was rude to me. That's fine. Look how many other people need your help. Look what I, you want to see what I can do to 13? Right click and delete. I will never see you again for the rest of my life. Never again, right? I mean that literally, I will never see you again for the rest of my life. You are now literally and figuratively dead to me, right? You are gone. I will never see you again. And I just think about that. I'm like, oh, I'll never see this person again. It must be miserable to be them on a daily basis, right? That must suck. I'm going to go ahead and go to this next person. And I'm going to go with the positive attitude because that person is going to die without insurance. And it's a shame for them. But I tried, right? I tried to do it. Sucks to be them. Boom, moving on to the next person. Positive, happy, right? Because I know the next $100 app's right around the corner. Because I know the next Miss Mary is right around the corner. Smiling Miss Mary, excited Miss Mary, needs help, knows you're the right person, connects with you, likes you. Great rapport is being built. Some really good common ground, enjoys the conversation, and then buys a $100 app from you. Buys a Medicare Advantage plan. Buys a hospital indemnity plan, right? Now you got all this business with this client. But if you went there with a negative attitude because number 13 rejected you, because number 13 was rude and crumpled up the piece of paper and threw it in your face, right? And you didn't take time to gather it on up, gather yourself and just, hey, 
mentally together, right? I'm so focused on this, this one person that was rude to me, boo hoo crying. I'm moving to the next person and I'm excited to do it because I know the next person I'm going to be able to help. So, um, let's see, I'm going to go through the comments real quick. Yeah. John, John's got a bed bug procedure that you'll love. If you've ever got them, you would understand. Um, yeah, Megan said that she still still sells the creepy old guys and then runs away as fast as possible. And as long as she stays on the as long as they stay on the book, she don't care. Yep. And there you go. When he said I had a guy take the lead, crumble it up and throw it at me. Right. And I think I remember that one where like literally his like girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever she was like, as like you were leaving was just like, I'm so sorry. Right? It's just like, why are people like this? I don't know. But it's all right. Very small subset of the population, just mean. It's okay. I'm going to the next one, right? Going to the next one. So I run into some really cool stuff. I told a guy one time, I said, hey, <clears throat> I said, hey, listen, I can't. He wanted to do, <clears throat> I'm sorry, one second. He wanted to do a direct bill. And I was like, listen, man, I use the approach. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. We can't, you know, we can't do direct pill, you know, if, it's one thing if you have a check for me right now to pay quarterly, right? Maybe I'd consider it six months, you know, maybe I'd consider doing that. But the insurance companies, they don't let us do it. And here's why, right? And I give them the pitch that, you know, what happens is someone goes into the hospital or they go into a nursing home, right? <clears throat> they go into long-term care facility, skilled nursing facility, and they, what are they going to do? They're going to get up. And go to their purse and get their checkbook and write the name of the insurance company, the policy number, the dollar amount, sign it, right? Put it in an envelope, write the return address, the mailing address, put a stamp on it and walk it down to the mailbox. Or maybe if you don't use checks, right? Some people don't use checks. Maybe if you don't use a check and you use a money order, what are you going to do? It's a little bit more steps, right? You got Now you got to go down to the Walmart and get the money order, right? Put the name on it. You got to tell them who, who's, the, who's the money order going to. You can have them fill it out. You could fill it out. Same steps, right? And you walk them through how much it is. So let me ask you a question. Do you think if you're in a nursing home that they're going to let you get up and leave and go send that check in? They're not. So I want to claim to pay your family. The only reason that you get insurance is not for you. Insurance is a selfless thing to do. You're not doing it for you. You're doing it for your family. Okay, so the best way to make sure that, that pays when you die, when your family needs it most, because yeah, sure, you're healthy right now. You can get up and go to the post office right now. You can do that. But if you get sick four, five, six months, you're in hospice care, you're not getting up to pay the policy. Okay. They hook it up to social security billing. And you explain that concept and how that works. Right. And that's such a crucial thing. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll take some questions. If y'all got some questions, right, some stuff that y'all want to talk about, add in here. If you do, raise hand. Um, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Rob said he, he had some bed bugs crawling all over him. I've seen some stuff and I'll tell you and call me rude if you want to. I, there's certain houses now that I'm just like, I like, I'm not sitting down. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. They like, sit down. Like I'm good. You know, I don't mean to be rude. I don't want to kill the sale, but that cockroach is massive. Right. I am not sitting down. All right. So if you got any uh, questions or anything, feel free to raise hand real quick. If not, we will wrap it on up. Cool, cool. All right, well, I appreciate everyone for joining. Oh, Mr. Peterson, what you got for me? I got a question for you. There are some more carriers that we're starting to, to work with these days. Do you happen to know if any more are accepting social security billing rather than our just our standard, you know, American Amicable, Liberty Bankers yeah. Life, RNA? Yeah, they, they told us that... Um, Great Western was supposed to, that they were adding it when the product came out. And then when they rolled the product out, it wasn't out. So that way, so then they said that they were going to add it. So, and then I also know that Chase is down there with American Home Life, that and the true social security billing itself, which kind of can be an issue for some. So when the like Aetna um, Ascendo product came out, uh, the big thing that they did with the, with the social security billing with the Aetna Ascendo product was they said they had social security billing, but they only had the weird Wednesdays. So the social security billing with American Home Life, if you look at the wrap, I would like my subsequent, uh, subsequent payment <clears throat> withdrawn on blank day of the month, Tuesday 1 through 28th, 
or first, third, or second, third, or fourth Wednesday. So that's one that is uh, is out there, and they use that right now. So that's uh, that's what I would recommend doing with AHL American Home Life. It's a good product. I like them for a couple of different reasons. I actually uh, want to do a call that covers all of that stuff uh, for you guys. That's going to cover all the new carriers. I actually wrote a note down about it on my whiteboard, and I want to do that. So let me plan on doing that next couple of weeks and I'll break down every single app with every single carrier. Um, AIG, no, nope, they do not. AIG does not have true social security billing. Unfortunately, they don't. Um, Steve asked a question, how do you get the software and is there a cost? Uh, yeah, so uh, this is just a standalone software. You go to Road Warrior, um, probably just Google Road Warrior. I think it's, it's roadwarrior.co, flex.roadwarrior something like that. It's Road Warriors, the name of it. So for everyone, I'll go ahead and uh, message it into the chat, Road Warrior. And that's in there. John, do you still, you, your hand still raised. I'm sorry. I don't know if you had another question or not. I'll take that as a no. All right, y'all. I appreciate everyone for doing that. Yeah, Flex is $10 a month. Um, yeah, Toolkit says it, but I don't see it. I don't see it with AIG and good luck. Uh, rule number one, never write AIG and you'll be just fine with the guaranteed issue product at least. They have some other products that are good, but not the GI. So appreciate that everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Go spend some time with your family. That's why we're in this business. That's why we do it. Enjoy it. I'll talk to you all soon. I'll see you on the Wednesday night Medicare training call, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'll definitely see you next Monday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on the final expense training call. Thank you. Have a great evening.